Welcome. Today, we will be going through Q2U of the Olympiad Geometry Theorems Collection. First up, we have Q for quadrilaterals that are tangential. Now, a circle can be inscribed in a quadrilateral if and only if the angle bisectors of the four angles of the quadrilateral meet up at one point. This point is in fact O. Now, we can convince ourselves that this is true by showing that OA bisects A, OB bisects angle B, OC bisects angle C, and OD bisects angle D by splitting the quadrilateral into four kites with the blue lines shown. Now consider triangles OSA and OAP. OS is equal to OP because they're both radii of the same circle. SA is equal to AP from the two tangents theorem and they both share the same side AO, and they're both right-angled triangles. So this means that these triangles are congruent, and so angle SAO is equal to angle OAP, and so OA bisects angle A. The same can be done with angle B, with angle C, and with angle D. From this, we also get that side length CD plus side length AB is equal to side length AD, plus side length BC, which is known as Pittet's theorem. The converse is also true. So if CD plus AB is equal to AD plus BC for some quadrilateral ABCD, that quadrilateral is tangential. Next, we have R for Ruth's theorem. Now for Ruth's theorem, we have triangle ABC and AD, BE and CF are Cvians of the triangle. Then Ruth's theorem tells us that the area of triangle PQR is equal to the area of the triangle ABC multiplied by xyz minus 1 squared divided by xy plus y plus 1 multiplied by yz plus z plus 1 multiplied by zx plus x plus 1 where af is c, fb is cz, bd is a, DC is AX, CE is B, and EA is BY. Now we can use this result to show areas of triangles, but also to prove Sever's theorem. If we have Sever's theorem, then the area of PQR is zero. So XYZ minus one squared divided by XY plus Y plus one multiplied by yz plus z plus 1, multiplied by zx plus x plus 1, is 0, which means that the numerator must be 0, and so xyz must equal 1. Now, if we look at af divided by fb, multiplied by bd divided by dc, multiplied by ce divided by ea, we get c divided by cz, multiplied by a divided by ax, multiplied by b divided by by, which gives us 1 divided by x, y, z, which is 1. Hence proving Sever's theorem. Next, we have S for Stewart's theorem. Now, Stewart's theorem gives us a relation between the side lengths of a triangle and a Sevian length of a triangle. So suppose we have a triangle ABC with BC equal to A, CA equal to B, AB equal to C, BD equal to M, DC equal to N, and AD equal to D. B squared multiplied by M plus C squared multiplied by N equals AMN plus D squared A. We can rearrange the letters to get something a little bit more memorable. Man plus dad equals BMB plus CNC, which we can remember as man and his dad find a bomb in the sink. We can get the same result from Pythagoras' theorem or from the cosine rule, but learning this mnemonic can prove to be very practical. We will now explore a problem based on Stewart's theorem. So we have a triangle ABC with AB equal to AC, where AB and AD have integer value length, and we need to find the sum of possible parameters of the triangle ABC. A 
applying Stewart's theorem, we get 9 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 21 plus 30d squared equals 9d squared plus 21b squared, which we can simplify to get 9 multiplied by 21 plus d squared equals b squared. Now we can rewrite this into the difference of two squares to get d plus b multiplied by d minus b equal 189. And since AB and AD have integer value length, d plus b and d minus b are also integers and so factors of 189. These are the factors of 189. So what we get for the possible values for p plus d and b minus d are 189, 1, 63, 3, 27, 7, and 21, 9. Now, if we look at the last possibility, 21, 9, this would result in a line on dc, because if we imagine d plus b is 21, because d and c is 21, this will give us a degenerate triangle. So b plus d is not 21. And so there are only three possibilities for b plus d and b minus d, which will give us possible values of b as 95, 33, and 17. So after this, we can quickly sum the perimeters to get 3 multiplied by 30, because a is 30, and there are three possible triangles, plus t multiplied by 95 plus 33 plus 17, because AC is equal to AB, which summed up gives us 380. We've been through the intersecting chords theorem in part F to J of the Olympiad Geometry Theorems collection. We've been through the tangent second theorem in this video here, so why not we finish off the job and go through the two second theorem? This states that CB multiplied by CA is equal to CD multiplied by CE. There's a neat and concise proof for this theorem. If you want to work it out for yourself, feel free to pause the video. We are going to draw in a tangent CF, touching the circle at F, and then by the tangent second theorem, CF squared is equal to CB multiplied by CA, and CF squared is equal to CD multiplied by CE. This gives us CB multiplied by CA equal to CD multiplied by CE. Final one for today, we have Urquhart's theorem. If we have straight lines B prime B A and C C prime A, if AB plus BD is equal to AC prime plus C prime D, then AB prime plus B prime D is equal to AC plus CD. The converse is also true, so if AB prime plus B prime D is equal to AC plus CD, then AB plus BD is equal to AC prime plus C prime D. This can be very useful in finding side lengths, and the theorem is not very well known, so entire problems could rely on it, such as a problem that came up in the 1992 IMO long list. I would advise trying to prove this theorem. One way to do it is through trigonometry, which we may cover in a later video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.